up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany, and in today's video, we will be decorating my guest bathroom. This is a bathroom not only I will be using, but my guests and my clients. For those of you who watch me regularly, y'all know that I'm a home braider, so this bathroom is the bathroom that my clients will be using as well when they come to their hair appointments. So it is very important that I make it very girly, very welcoming, something that my clients will love and be comfortable with, but also something that speaks to me. My last bathroom was super girly. I did like a black girl magic theme. I love that bathroom. It was so colorful. I'm a colorful person. I just, I love color. A quick life update. I'm in a home now. I told you guys in a couple of my recent vlogs that my sister and I were moving. We have moved and we are now in a house. Now with the home, I'm more inspired to be more modern, more trendy. I still have a playful type decor style. That's just me. It has to have some type of color in it. I'm not really like a nude or neutral person, but I did try to incorporate that in this bathroom. So it's going to be like a girly, chic, slash, boho bathroom. The shower curtain I got off Amazon, and that's what I centered all of my decor around. It is image-based. Like my last shower curtain is just more of like that wire, like silhouette framed looking image more so than like a painting or artwork so let's get started i'm gonna show you all what i have brought i have everything laid out in my bedroom already so i'm gonna show you everything that i have and then we're gonna set it all up i have this rack right here it's like um above the toilet shelving because i wanted to add some more decor i don't have a lot of counter space in this bathroom so i wanted to put together a shelf to kind of like add extra decor as well so we'll be building that this is the first thing in the hall. It's a three shelf bathroom space saver and this is what it looks like. I got it in silver because all of the hardware in my bathroom is silver. And yeah, let me show y'all everything else. This is my bedroom floor where I have laid out the shower curtain, all of the decor, all of the accessories that I'll be using. I'm probably gonna need to get a few more accessories for my bathroom shelves. It wasn't until I laid everything out that I realized it wasn't a whole lot. So we'll be going out to get a couple of more things, but let me show y'all what I have. So far hopefully i put an image on screen of what the shower curtain looks like so you all know my inspo that i'm playing off of um but this is it in person love the material i also got a shower liner this was 3.99 at ross i didn't want to go clear this time so i got this new one these are the hooks that came with it anytime you get a shower curtain off amazon these are like the hooks that come along with the shower curtain they always provide you with hooks these came with my last shower curtain um, but I don't like those, so I ordered some black hooks. I went with like a wire looking theme because it goes with the image in my shower curtain along with these images right here, you guys. These are going to be the start of the show in my bathroom. It came as a three-piece set on Amazon for, I want to say, $30 or $35. To me, it was a steal because they're good quality. They're kind of heavy. This image is my favorite. She spoke to me. It's a girl with her head wrapped in a towel as if she just washed her hair. And her butt is hanging off. She kind of has a little shape. She has on her boy shorts. I think it's really cute. She's holding her shoulder, kind of looking off to the side. Um, so this would be one of the images that I hang. The second one that came with it is a silhouette of this lady pulling her shirt over her shoulders. These are her elbows right here. I don't know if y'all can really make out what the image is, but she's pulling her shirt up. And then you see nips and all of that and then this last one is also super sexy cheeky girl she still has her underwear on but she's kind of dropping her towel kind of like strip tease vibes i really like these images i thought it was cute sexy adult trendy something that i know my clients will love something that i won't mind looking at all the time and it's way different from my last bathroom this two-piece rug set out of ross i could not pass this up because the quality is awesome y'all it's like a velvet texture um it was $15.99 and the only thing that's missing is like a toilet cover i would have loved this piece i would have loved this set way more if it came with like that round little covering for your toilet but it didn't i got this trash can it's kind of woven it gave me boho vibes but it was plastic and it was only five dollars so this would be the trash can and i got these little trash bags from dollar tree 
This is a little black towel I'm gonna hang over my towel rack in there. This, I don't know if I'm gonna use as decor and kind of fill it with floral arrangements, like tall sticks, or if I'm gonna use it as my actual laundry basket. I thought it went with the boho vibe, so I had to have it. It was $16.99 at Ross. If you guys watched my last vlog, y'all know I went in Ross and had a time. These two pieces came out of Walmart's dollar spot. It's a little cactus. The vase matches a color that's in my shower curtain. But I really, really love this because it has the soil in it. And it looks like a real live plant, but it is faux. And then I got a cute little mirror that I might put beside it like so. Came from Pop Shelf. It says so fresh and so clean. And it was $3. It'll be on the shelf. Our shelf decor from Pop Shelf. It has the plant that my shower curtain has. And I got a candle to go with it. I'll never burn this. This will just be shelf decor once again. And it was $3. For florals, I got this flower vase. This was $30 or $40 on Amazon. And it really, really reminded me of this image right here from this three-piece set where the lady is pulling the shirt over her shoulders. This flower vase, the woman is pulling the shirt over her shoulders. And baby, she is bodied. Uh, bodied. Abs and all. Um, and then I got some pompous. This came from Amazon as well, and it goes with the color scheme. I got to sit this out in the sunlight for it to get all fluffy and puffy and all of that. But yeah, I'm going to sit it in the vase like so. And I don't know if it's going to be shelf decor or, or if it's actually going to sit near my bathroom sink. This woven basket came from Five Below for $5. This washcloth set came from Walmart for $6. I'm going to roll up washcloths and put it in here. I have some acrylic organizers. I have this soap that I found in Pop Shelf that a customer in there suggested. Um, she was buying a bunch of them for her bathroom. She said she loves these. It has a good lather. It foams really well. And they have a bunch of different cool scents in there. Check out my last vlog and I showed all of them, but I got the white tea and ginger. And then the mahogany teak wood. Y'all know this is one of my favorite scents, my favorite candles from them. I got three of these in the most recent um, Bath & Body Works candle sale. And so this one I'll be putting on my shelf as decor. And so far, this is everything, y'all. Again, I may have to run back out to the store to get a couple of more things for the shelf. And then also a cover for my toilet. But y'all, get into these images. Okay, y'all, so it is the next day and I went out to Dollar Tree and I was intended on going to Dollar Tree and at home to get a couple of more shelf items for shelf decor. And I went in Dollar Tree first for Q-tips because I have those acrylic containers I showed y'all in the beginning in the hall and I wanted to fill them up with cotton balls, Q-tips, whatever else. But the Q-tips that I had were pink. So when I put them in the acrylic container, I didn't like the way it looked with the bathroom decor. I wanted some clean, basic white ones. So I went in the dollar store for that and ended up getting the rest of the things that I need, I think, to accent my bathroom. If I look at it all together and again, it doesn't look complete, then I'll go to at home. But y'all know at home is a ticket. So for decor, rats that I'm not even going to use, I decided to 
just go with Dollar Tree wash rags. The black towel by, by itself just wasn't enough. I needed one more like quoted piece and I ended up getting this one for do from Dollar Tree because it was only a dollar. But if I end up just not liking it and realizing that I, maybe I settled, I'll go to at home for sure. I know they'll have quotes that I want. But this was one dollar, y'all. And it says, happiness blooms from within. I'm going to sit this next to the um, artificial cactus I have in there. I got these cotton pods. It just took me back to like the cotton picking days, slavery or whatever. And I decided I could make like a little symbolic piece for my bathroom. I've seen people actually decorate their homes, put these in jars and bases and things and make different arrangements with it but for me it could be symbolic for its own purpose and i think just glancing over with this on my shelf and bathroom decor is never supposed to go this deep y'all but just in case y'all are wondering what i was thinking about the cotton pots it'll take me back to madam cj walker and all of the women that came before me that paved the way for me to be able to do what i do every day so yeah it'll be symbolic for that so i got this this is the most vintage jar that I've seen, y'all. And it's honestly something that they be having in doctor's offices, but it looked vintage in my opinion. So I'm gonna put the pots in there. Oh, what is, oh this is a nightlight for my bird, sorry. Um, for those of y'all who are new here, I'm a bird mom, an air freshener for the car, y'all. I thought that was cute. Little Mentos green apple stamp. I'm gonna put that in my car. I got this little mirror stand for the, um, the, ba the vase to sit on, the girl with the little shapely body. I want her to sit on there. Okay, y'all, uh, this is how my bathroom turned out. So cute. Right now, I give it an 8 out of 10 because there are a few things I still want to add and take away, such as the top row I'm not completely happy with. I think it needs one more thing, but I'm also trying to get more into the spirit or the habit of simplicity. Sometimes I can go overboard, so I don't want to be too overboard but i also don't want it to look blank so if there's something else i could add maybe y'all can give me suggestions or should i leave it alone but i do really love this decor piece with the cotton pies i don't know how y'all feel about it but this is my second favorite item on this shelf the first one would be this plant because y'all see what i did there this right here i'm going to take these away i had all white washcloths in this basket at first and i ended up adding the ones from dollar tree i don't like the way the way that looks I like the cleaner look when there were just white washcloths. So we're gonna go back to that. I put the photo back there from Dollar Tree with the cactus. And then this last row, I think is also very simple for me. Normally I probably would have overcrowded it with two candles, some type of vase down here too, but I wanna keep it clean, so fresh and so clean with the cotton swabs and Q-tips, scrunchies and stuff. One day I'll light the candle, but yeah, this is the shelf. I'll link it down below. I told y'all where everything else came from already. I got this shelf, one, because it was silver and it matches the hardware in the bathroom, but also because um, it had this opening right here. Some of the shelves that were higher in, like the wooden pieces that were so, so cute, they had different things or elements of the over the toilet shelving that blocked my actual toilet and the way mine is made. So this one worked best for me. Um, shower curtain will be linked down below. So I'll definitely link these photos down below if y'all are interested. They have so many, other, so many different other ones, y'all. Um, as y'all can see, the girl on my shower, she kind of has like plants as her hair, flowers growing out of her hair. They had some with women wired like that with roses and different plants coming out of their hair. If you're really, really into plants, I love the shower curtain, but I'm not really a plant lover like that to um, get those. I really like these better. These spoke to me a little better. Um, and then the pump is y'all, I'm loving it. The vase will be linked. And yeah, this right here, I definitely wanna do something with. I need to look at some videos of how to roll up towels and do different decor pieces with towels. This to me is not gonna work. And then my basket, I was pulling out the colors from that. And yeah, that is my bathroom, you guys. If you guys are here all the time and y'all watch my vlogs and y'all will see over time what I add or take away and the different improvements I make to it. But right now I said this simple bathroom might be inspo for someone who really does enjoy simple things. So I'm not going to hold out until I decide to add more stuff because I have other projects that I'm working on in my house right now. But yeah, this is it. 
I love you all and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below or anything that you suggest as far as that top shelf. I know the brown towels need to go. That looks bad, but yeah. Any suggestion on my shelf and decor? That was my first time decorating a whole shelf like that. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going, y'all. Thank you for watching.